that's a bummer. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I have a tire changer, one of those manual ones. I've been thinking about doing a video on it for a while. And since I'm in this predicament, I guess now's the time. By the way, it's got a big old roof and screw in it. Mmm, not good. Alright, so let me get this tire off and we'll go from there. First thing I gotta do is take the valve stem out of the tire. Get you a valve stem tool. They're not hard to find. They're at every auto parts store. Um, and then I'm gonna set it on the tire changer and you'll see how it works. Now look, this is not an unboxing video. This is uh, 20 years of use. I've had this thing at least 20 years. And in a minute, I'll show you a screenshot of all the tires back here behind the shed that I have replaced. You probably see some in the background. Golf cart tires, truck tires. My goodness, I have used this thing a lot. So if you're like me, you live out in the country and you try to do things for yourself, go on and get one of these. They're cheap. This one didn't come from Harbor Freight, but it is the exact tire changer that Harbor Freight sells. That's why I put the name in the thumbnail, because other than that, people wouldn't ever see the video. Alright, so, um, you're going to see me work around the tire. Sometimes beads break down immediately, sometimes you got to work them around. So that's what I'm doing next. Alright, these are 17 inch aluminum wheels off of my Tahoe. They do have that sensor inside. That measures tire pressure. Look, I just drive it back and forth to work. If that stuff doesn't work, it's not a big deal. I got the valve core out. Got lucky, that one popped right away. We'll flip it over and see what happens. By the way, while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, this thing's only mounted on about 500 pounds of concrete. That's probably six or eight bags, back when bags were 80 pounds. All right, we're gonna have to work this one around the edge a little bit. We got it to start moving. All right, both beads broke. Ow. It is work. Pop that thing on there. Tighten that down. Now look, <clears throat> these are aluminum wheels but they got a plastic center hook cap. So even if this puts a little mark on it, you'll never see it. Take that wedge, put it in there, and pull around, I hope my underwear wasn't showing. <laughs> All right. Pull it up. Grab that bottom lip. I ran into a weight. So I just go the other way. One tire off. I wasn't real tore up about that screw being in that tire. <sighs> Out of breath. <laughs> like I said, it's work. It's a manual tire changer. Um, I was going to put these all-terrain tires on there anyway. 
I just hadn't had a chance to. These are probably 50% tread. They came off of a hunting truck, <clears throat> but it has to have good tread all the time. So they're half wore out, they got replaced, and I got them for nothing. So these will help me get around on the farm a little bit better than the street tires that were on it. I just hadn't mounted them. I mounted one. I'll show you a picture of it right now. And uh, this is the one on the opposite side. All right, let's get some lubricant. All right, so let me be crystal clear about something. You're supposed to buy some compound to mount tires, okay? I don't quite know how to phrase this. I've never bought that compound. On the compound, it says petroleum free, which means it's probably not a good idea to mount tires with any amount of oil, but I've been mounting tires with a drop or two of oil for years. Now look, I know, I know, I know, save your comments. I know it's not supposed to be done that way. I'm not using much, <clears throat> and in 20 years, I've never had a problem. The first time me and my brother-in-law did it on his 18-wheeler, of course, you don't mount them on this, but anyway, we were afraid that the first time he hit the brakes, all 18 tires would uh, go flat. That didn't happen. Um, I've never had it cause an issue. I'm not saying do it. I'm telling you to go on eBay and order that can of stuff I'm just honest enough to tell you that I've never ordered that can of stuff. I use about three drops of oil on each bead. Just lubricate it a little bit. Um, I guess I swap out tires enough that the rubber has never swelled up. I've never had a problem. I don't know. Oh, while we're at it, uh, when you're at Harbor Freight, pick up one of these. They're cheap, and they're good, and you'll use it. And they only cost this much right here. See, I was thinking ahead. I took that picture last time I was in Harbor Freight. All right, so now is when you have to pay attention. I want the white letters on the inside, okay? So you got to pay attention. Make sure that your white letters go on the inside. And I am just going to give that bead just a little bit of a reason to fall onto that rim. Then I'm going to clean anything that's on the rim off. Alright y'all, so I'm putting the white letters down. And keep in mind, this tire will not be balanced, but my truck doesn't leave the county, so I think it'll be alright. Sometimes you can push that first one on. If you can't, then you come and get your bar. All right. Like I said, sometimes the first one will fall on anyway. Do not use soap and water. I've used soap and water on steel wheels. And then go back a year later and take those tires off. And it's horrible. It'll ruin the wheels. You got to spend a while sanding the wheels to get all the uh, pits out. All right. Now you use this end. You get to a spot where a weight's not in the way. You loop that over there. And you have to push this down. If it stays up here on this ridge right here, you'll never get the tire on. You gotta push it down further. Like that. Pushing it down. Keep working it. Alright, when you get it about there, that's the end of the road for that tool. 
Then you come in with this one. And you don't get a very big bite. Just get little bites. Done with that one. I'm gonna finish it off with this one. All we gotta do is get a little bite at a time and keep working it around. Last little bit. Sometimes you can push it on. One more little bite. And it's on there. Now, um, real time that was. All right, I came down here, I started the camera before I ever started breaking the bead. Real time, 13 minutes and 45 seconds. The tire's on. All I got to do, put the valve stem back in, you got a decent air compressor, the beads will seal, it'll air right up. Alright, when you're done with your tire changer, always put this cap back on it or it'll get rain down in there. Sometimes, you're going to have tires that won't air up, okay? And all you can do is put them on concrete, mash them into the concrete, put a knee, it's like this. If you can ever get it to take a little bit of air, the air pressure will help you. This one's not going to have any trouble whatsoever. But I have had them where I had to push them up against the retaining wall in the driveway and the ground and put a knee and put a hand into it. Um, most of them are not that bad. Sometimes they are. It's a manual tire changer. Hmm. Against my better judgment, I'll show you all my tire collection. There's all the old golf cart tires. Numerous tires that have been changed, more numerous tires that have been changed, more numerous tires that have been changed. I told y'all, this thing is worth the money. Get one. It's going to save you, what, what's it, at least 10 maybe $20 to have a tire just changed, just the maintenance part? I've saved myself a fortune, and I got three times as many tires at the farm. And another thing, go ahead and go on eBay and get you some valve stems. You can order a pack of 25 or 30 of them pretty cheap off of eBay. Um, go ahead and get you some, a pack of valve cores. If you're going to get this uh, manual tire changer, get everything you're going to need to do a lot of work. Look, I've changed tires on cars, trucks, uh, farm equipment for people on down the road. I've, I've found people up on the road, my own road up here, that had flat tires and came down here and found an old one just to get them out of here. So, um, out of here, like, just to help them. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, folks, and just like that, it's a new tread. Well, at least new to me tread. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. If you like the channel uh, or want to check it out, hit that donkey up there. Um, watch some of these other videos, and as you go forward, love God and love people. Bye.